Hey guys, we're back on the trail. Hi. We're at a Vasquez Rocks today. We're gonna do Vasquez Rocks Trail extended loop uh, via the PCT. So we're gonna hit that a little bit. Uh, this is located in Agua Dulce, in between uh, Palmdale and Santa Clarita. And this trail is specifically a loop, uh, 3.7 miles with a 600 foot elevation gain. Um, obviously, if you're venturing around the park a bit and climbing rocks, having fun, uh, the elevation change will vary for you. But um, there's supposed to be a lot of cool rock formations here. It's very popular, especially for the movie industry. Um, and we're also just going to explore other rock formations, see what we come across. Yep, and we're going to continue picking up trash. And so let's get on a trail. Let's enjoy. So we're here at the parking lot and it looks like there's a welcome center which offers some history and fun facts of this location. Due to COVID, it's currently closed. When you're visiting, make sure to check back. So we have some nice information here in the beginning of the trail, plus some basic info regarding the parking lot hours. The lot closes at 7 p.m., so make sure you don't get locked in. On our left, we see the trailhead for the geology trail, which we will be using to begin our trail. So geology is actually the science that deals with the history of the earth and its life, especially in regards to rocks. Here we get some info about the wildlife and the plant communities that you can find in this area, which is pretty cool. On this portion of the trail, we come across the signs, which are hinting a little bit about what's in front of you. Do plants grow on rocks? Why, yes, they do. <laughs> The trail is lined out nicely here. Bedding planes. So that actually means dispositional planes or like layers of rock, which you can clearly see here. Uh, this trail is actually part of the PCT, better known as the Pacific Crest Trail. So you may be lucky enough to see a um, through hiker. The PCT is actually a trail that connects you from Mexico to Canada. It's about 2,650 miles long. Just a bit ago, you heard me say a through hiker, and that's actually a hiker that establishes like long distance trails. I mean, for example, it can be the PCT, the Appalachian Trail, um, but they just go one way all the way through. At this sign, uh, we're gonna continue straight to stay on the trail. And then here to the right is a trail that leads to additional parking closer to Vasquez Rocks. Up ahead you can see the popular rock formations used in movies and music videos. You can actually walk or drive directly to the rocks to explore rather than do the hiking trail, like if you're just passing through. And you heard us say Vasquez Rocks quite a bit and you think, where did they come up with that name, right? Well, technically it's actually named after a thief named Derbucio Vasquez. He was actually a notorious thief from 1854 to 1974. So for about 20 years, he was just taking everything he could and then he would run away to where these rocks are and hide away from the authorities. This trail goes around the rocks and you get to see all the rock layers. And of course, you can obviously see where Mr. Tiburcio could be hiding back there. Here we come to a pepper tree picnic area. Trail angels have left water for the through hikers here. Continue to this boulder where you'll make a left. Straight is a shorter loop. All right, here we'll continue on the trail by making a slight right. There are tons of yucca plants here, so just be careful because they are super sharp. Look at that. These rocks are actually along the San Andreas fault line. The uplift activity helped to expose the sedimentary layering that we see here. So there's too many films to name that have been used at Vasquez Rocks, but some are The Flintstones, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, Holes, Star Trek, and even music videos by Rihanna and Enrique Iglesias. Here the trail goes right and then declines a bit. 
Aside from all the different shapes, there's also different colors of rocks, which is pretty cool. At this point, we'll make it a slight right. The left will take you to the PCT further towards Mexico. Uh, there's also a tunnel that passes below the, uh, the 14 freeway, so if you'd like to see that, uh, you can take a left. Horses are allowed on the trail, but should stay on the trail, as indicated. The trail isn't long, but we've become more aware of the heat at this point, make sure that you come prepared and come early. At this split, we'll make a left. This incline here isn't very terrible. At this marker, we'll make a right to stay on the trail. We've noticed that the path is narrow on this back end and also not as populated. This trail is well maintained, but if you're visiting a trail area that's um, not clear, make sure you have GPS or any kind of device that has GPS and also let somebody know where you're going for that day. You'd be surprised how often people get lost. At the stay on the trail marker, we'll keep left. It gets pretty overgrown here, and the trail isn't clear, likely since there's less people on here. Vasquez Rocks Natural Area Park is located in Agua Dulce near the desert. So in the summer months, it does get pretty hot. It can reach up to 100 degrees. Winter time would probably be a better time to visit since the highs are in the 60s. We're here in May, and the heat is kicking our butt. Then again, we're not much conditioned for the heat. Oh, look. All oh, the cool layering. Oh look, we're seeing really nice bright flowers and even some wheat. We're near the end and there's a lot of steep inclines around here, so be prepared. So we haven't seen much wildlife on the trail so far. Um, we did see a coyote on the drive up to the park, so that was pretty cool. We've seen plenty of lizards. And I'm not sure what type of bird it is, but as it flies away, it has like a loud buzzing humming sound. If you know what type of bird that is, uh, maybe drop it in the comments and let us know. It scared the crap out of me a few times. So by this point, the heat has really gotten to us. Uh, so the inclines are actually starting to become a little bit of a struggle. If you need to, find some shade in one of the many caves here to rest or get your energies up. Here on the right, we see the marker for a horse trail. We'll be making a left towards Raskis Rocks. Both these paths keep you on the main trail, which starts to get wider since we're almost to the start. And there is a closer look at Raskis Rocks. And we did it, you guys. We are here at the start of the trail. We're gonna go have some fun and explore the rocks a bit. Oh, she's hanging from the rock. I just cut it, just cut it. Hey guys, we made it to the end. Hi. It's uh it's really nice out here. The rocks are awesome. Mm, there's different a lot of different rock formations. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's a lot of places you can hide. As we told you before, uh, Mr. Vasquez was always hiding out here. Mm -hmm. 
try coming out here when the park opens because it's really warm already. Mm -hmm. and it's springtime. Yeah, so summer would probably be really bad. Yeah, or just come in like the winter time, like the fresher time mm -hmm. season. But as always, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. We appreciate all the support. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and leave a comment of a show you want to see and uh, leave a like so the algorithm picks us up. And we'll <laughs> see you guys next time. Later.